and the Austrian Grand Prix is go! Cutting across to maintain the lead is Max Verstappen. Charles Leclerc got a good launch, couldn't do much with it. He'll have an opportunity as we climb the hill though. Closer contact between the Aston Martin and the McLaren. There was the McLaren of Lando Norris who was able to get there. Upper position went Fernando Alonso, down went Lance Stroll and he's fallen behind the house as well. But look to the race lead, look to Charles Leclerc trying to power around the outside. He is shown a defensive shape. Yellow flag is out in the third sector. Max Verstappen maintains the lead. It is Verstappen, Leclerc and Sainz. Yeah, only change to that uh, first start, uh, first five on the grid is Hamilton. Getting in front of Lando Norris, another difficult first lap as Charles Leclerc tries around the outside. He's aggressive. Off in the gravel goes one of the Alpha Tauris sailing on by there, and that is disappointment. The Ferraris are now side by side as we go through there. Two times the momentum was with Charles Leclerc, two times he was shown the outside line. See uh, back to his view into the first corner. There's the Alpine, there's Sonoda bouncing over the curb, understeering wide and just damaging that front wing end plate. And oh. off the road we go with Hulkenberg and the Haas, terminal. the Haas is smoking out of the back and it looks like we have our first retirement for the Austrian Grand Prix. Virtual safety car is out and so are the teams in the pit lane, but the Ferrari drivers have gone past pit entry, so that was crucial timing. In comes Hamilton, in comes Norris, and they'll get the benefit of pitting under the virtual safety car. For the double stacking pit stop, both Ferraris in. It's a slow stop for Leclerc, so it's going to be a slow stop for Sainz as well. There's the second Ferrari in. Virtual safety car is ending, and there's a big opportunity going through the McLaren there, past the Ferrari, Norris up, past Sainz. Here's Sainz trying to repair the damage. He goes to the inside of Lando Norris, but Lando Norris hangs it out there. They're both trying to chase down Hamilton in fourth place, who has that five-second penalty so early in the race. Side by side, we go on board with Carlos Sainz, who's got Lewis Hamilton really squeezing him tight to the white hand side at the white line there. And Sainz was brave, he kept his foot in and he takes the place. Sainz fights by as he tries to get past Perez next of all. Fresher tyres for the Ferrari, old tyres for the Red Bull. This is Sainz now attacking Perez. Same corner, one lap on. Sainz is driving like we haven't seen since he won the British Grand Prix a couple, uh, uh, one year ago around the outside of Perez. Absolutely brilliant, making use of those fresher tyres. He's angry and he's attacking. He's not the only one. Look at this, the brawl continues behind. It's uh, trying to go around the outside, and Magnussen trying to pass Alex Albon, can't get it done, opens the door for Ocon in the blue Alpine on the left-hand side to try and get his way by. He goes all the way around the outside, yes he does, and Stroll tries to follow, but he's shown the door. So Verstappen pits from the lead, here he is. So he pits, and that will give track position to Charles Leclerc, Chasing another win around this circuit today. 2.3 seconds stop. I think that's to try and cover off Carlos Sainz. Here's the second Ferrari then. Leclerc's gone through to the race lead. Sainz at full racing speed, just up and out the shorter line, and this will be close up to three. I think the Ferrari's going to get him, and he does. It's a Ferrari 1 2. Can with DRS. Max Verstappen get past his old teammate. The Ferrari driver hugs the inside line. Sainz defends. And Verstappen is on the wall path here. It's a harder compounded tyre, but there's more grip and there's going to be no contest. He's got DRS again and he's got P2 in the race. Hamilton's wide to give Norris the chance. Norris will have the velocity now with the rear wing open with the DRS. Hamilton and Norris have battled at this track before and he's just sailing on by. Lando Norris takes the place, takes fourth place. And it's a five second time penalty for Carlos Sainz. So this is for eighth position for Sergio Perez. That's the Mercedes on the left hand side, but not for much longer. And through goes Perez to P8 in the Grand Prix. We're looking at the battle for the lead at the Austrian Grand Prix. Yes, that is a battle for the lead in 2023 in Formula One. Ferrari pitting both cars under the virtual safety car. It got them track position, but for how much longer? Leclerc will hang on to the racing line. To the inside goes Max Verstappen to take back first place in the Grand Prix. As a massive cheer in the grandstand as a result as well. Verstappen back where he has been so much this year. And he finds himself P1 chasing his fifth Grand Prix win in a row. Two passes at turn three on that lap. Sergio Perez now up to seventh position. And this is further back in the order. Kevin Magnussen going the long way round and being sent into the gravel. Uh, the race has completely pushed me off again. What the f
Nick DeFries has a time penalty for sending Kevin Magnussen to the gravel. And now Perez trying to clear Fernando Alonso. Alonso checking the left-hand mirror because Perez is close. Scrap that, Perez is ahead. Another tidy, borderline easy pass for the Mexican driver who is making use of that car. Hard tyres attached, the screech from the Pirelli rubber as he rejoins the fast lane of the pit lane. And uh, there is Lando Norris at the top of your picture, gaining, 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 and gaining still. He's got more momentum, and through goes Norris. Yeah, but signs with DRS and fresher tyres. Will Norris be able to do anything? Brave round the outside, does Norris give him space? Norris did give him space, they're still side by side. The Ferrari inches ahead. These two get on very well, and you could tell that with the way that they were racing. The Ferrari lost the place out of the pits, reclaimed it. Fourth position for Sainz. That's a wide moment for Lando Norris, all over the curb at turn three. That might break this DRS train apart. This might hand the move to Sergio Perez, who's got a sight of the inside line. He's got a back marker in the way, and he's got the position. Through goes Perez. And the difficult task is set again for Carlos Sainz, who will hold that inside line. Oh, that close to banging wheels! And he says he's going to fight him all the time here. But it'll be better traction now for Perez. It'll be the inside line. And it will be DRS for Sainz, who will try and fight back for the last step on the podium. He's got the DRS. He's got the place back. Will they give each other room? Brilliant battling from these two. It's tight once again, applying the power. They're wheel to wheel. They're side by side. Who gives an inch here as we go into the infield? Sainz stays ahead. A mirror check once again for Carlos Sainz. You know where he's going. You know where he's going to place that Scarlet Ferrari, but Perez has had information as well. So he's on the outside line of turn three once more. Tries to cut back in. Wide entry. Stand on the power. And this time, he's got the DRS on the way down to turn four. Surely it will be the outside line. Does he have the momentum to move ahead? He does. And this battle is done. Perez. Perez goes deep into the corner, and he's just got it now. Another day of Red Bull domination and Max Verstappen gets to the flag first once more. His seventh win of the season, Max Verstappen wins the Austrian Grand Prix and claims the fastest lap on the last tour. Charles Leclerc will be on the podium once again this year in Formula One and Perez from 15th on the grid to third by the end of the Grand Prix. Ten wins in a row for Red Bull. Seven wins in the season for Max Verstappen. Five wins at this venue for the Dutch driver. Pull out any stat you want. This season belongs to the man back on the top step of the podium once again.